Recently I was in Bali and I got scammed. I uploaded the video on Instagram and it got 15 million views. It also was picked by CNN in Indonesia by different news outlets in Europe including Lithuania. So it became a big story. In this video I'm going to tell you backstory how I tracked scammers, how I filmed them. Okay. I need more. So I can take no, 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 I need more. Also, I'm gonna teach you what kind of sleight of hand they're using to scam Bali tourists so you don't get scammed. So I uploaded the video, it got 10,000 views within first week. This was like a higher performing video, so I was very happy because I was on vacation in Bali and I decided to film some additional stuff, right? And then somebody, like a famous influencer in Bali, shared the video and then it skyrocketed from there. Within like a day, I got 100,000 views. Next day, it's like 1 million views. I'm like, oh, that's insane, that's crazy, right? So let me tell you how I track them. I have a phone and I thought, you know what? I'll just have my wallet. This is my wallet. And I'll come to the money exchange place and I'll just put the phone like this. But, you know, scammers, they're not stupid. They're actually really smart people that you know, can misdirect you, they control situations very well, they would see it. I was like, it's not gonna work. Usually one guy changing money and then there are two, three other guys around them just in case, like pr protection basically. And it was just me and my buddy. So I was like, I don't wanna risk that, I don't wanna film that, right? And then I came up with an idea. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put my phone here and film it like this, but come on. They know what's going, what's, what's happening here. They would see it right away. So then I was like, what if I hold the phone like this? So if you hold your screen like this, you you know, the, the screen is always on. And if you lock the phone, it stops filming. So I downloaded the app, which allows you to film while the screen is completely black, dark. No signs of the screen at all. So. I come to the money exchange place, I come to them, and I just put my phone here. And they can see through the shirt that it's black. So there's no suspicion there. Because it was on this side uh, you know, of the shirt, so I had to always stand like this, so I captured it. And I was like, you know, usually people are like, oh, you know, exchanging money. I was just like doing this the whole time. And I told my friend who was going with me to track them, I said, okay, here's the deal. We will spend this day to find at least one scammer and get it on camera. I don't care how many takes at times, how many times we have to change money back and forth, how much money we're gonna spend, we have to track it. The reason for that is because I was very curious. Every tourist I would ask, how did you guys get scammed? Nobody would know. They didn't realize how they were scammed. They just knew that when they got back to the hotel that there was some money missing, right? So I was like, okay, you need to tell me how. They were not able to do that, so I'm a magician. I wanna know different kinds of, kinds of sleight of hand. I decided to film it. And here's the crazy part. The first place we go to, boom. We got scammed and this is the video okay. that you're seeing right now. Uh, for As you can see, I come to the money exchange place. How much I give 100? them 100 euros. Then they're exchanging uh, to local currency, which is rupees. You give them a hundred, now they have to give you local currency. They're gonna count you some bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And of course, they're using fifties because if they use hundreds, then it's less money. Less money means it's not as easy to scam. The more money you have, it's easier for them to handle them and just like drop some. So. They count maybe more first pile no, okay, and then okay. they let you count the money just to make sure yeah, this is the right amount. Right. While you're counting that money, so, they take another pile and count one, two, another three. pile. One, two, three, four, five, six. This was not in intentional, but that was good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is another pile. They let you count Nine, this pile. While you're counting the second yeah. pile, they take the first okay. pile, yeah. you know, to make One, it easier for you, they like two, make it nice and neat, three, right? Four, and five. this is what they do. Yes. They drop some bills yes. behind the table. So what they do is they do this and use their thumbs just to slide off one, two, or three bills like this. Two, 
three, as you can see four, in the video, five. he did yes. that, but he got really greedy and he did something like this. When I was counting, he did this and then he tried to misdirect me and did this, but dude, it didn't work. I mean, honestly, I was looking for the scam, but you have no idea. If you're not looking to the scam, your vision is here, you're just counting the money and you don't see what he's doing. I was just, I had my sunglasses, I was counting the money, but I was looking directly into what he was doing. So when I saw it, I was like, oh dude, so painful to watch. This is basics of magic. This is like year one in Hogwarts, dude. You, It was really painful to watch it, to see like how bad he was, really, really bad. But it's enough for the street, enough to scam tourists, right? He drops some bills and then because you already counted that this pile of money, you're not counting it again. You take all of the bills and you just leave. That's how it works. As easy as, as it sounds. In the video, Seven, you can eight, see that I'm counting nine, the money again. 10, one million. One, and uh, two, I said, you know, oh, I need more? more. It's not all of the money. And then he count. takes the money. No, 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 let me count. And then he takes one, the money that two, was, that he dropped three, earlier and puts it the pile okay what well is, you don't see is, it because he does okay. it so fast that? okay i'm Look, counting so you don't see it he does it super fast i'll do it one more time you don't see it right because he's doing it so fast while talking to you about oh yeah you you know not enough money what do you mean not enough so you have to be careful you have to always count the money and don't let them touch the money i didn't mention this in the video but he tried to scam me three times yeah. the yeah, reason i didn't put it in the video yeah. because instagram allows one good. minute good. video and couldn't put rest. all of that content in one minute on. but here's what happened he gave me the money i counted the money i saw that there were some missing then he added the money counted it gave me the money i counted it he took it dropped it i counted there were some missing he added again and he did basically this three times the guy was so good i mean he was bad but he was like trying to scam me real hard okay here is how you avoid the scam really easy rule number one you don't go to shady places like this one just don't go there you will be scammed. This is not a money exchange place that happen to be scammers. This is scammers that pretend to be money exchange places. You have to realize this. This is not a money exchange place. This is a scamming place, okay? But if for some crazy reason you need money, don't have any other option, here's what you do. Always count the money and don't let them touch the money. So you take the money, they give you a pile, let's say 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You count that and cover it with your wallet or phone. This is your wallet or your phone. Take another half of the money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Square it. And now don't let them touch this. Put it here. Boom. That's it, this is yours. There's a chance that something might happen when you didn't see. So just in case, when you have all of the money, don't make piles anymore, don't, don't make piles. Just count all of them. And if they're trying to take money, just don't let them do that. Wait, I'll check. I'll do this, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 I'll count. One. That's it, this is how you avoid the scam. And I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. If you're not scammed, they will give you a fee. They will say, oh, there's another fee, like 50,000 fee. Well, yeah, it's called a failure fee. If they don't scam you, they put a, like a fee so they make money off of that. Because usually the exchange rates are so low there uh, because they steal money anyways. This is how you avoid the scam. This is the full story. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe, bye-bye.